Hi, this is Peter from Wham Bam, and today I want to speak to you about using our system for FDM and the difference between the FBS and the XDR in all build plates, magnets, and kits. So Wham Bam started originally developing the XTR for our resin kits. And the reason why is, as we noticed that the resin machines had bigger and bigger build volumes, and they had huge suction forces, we noticed that we needed a heavier duty magnet, a heavier duty plate. Already our magnets and plates were the best that there were. We developed them, we created the system, and we create our own materials. But those big machines required bigger plates. At a certain point, we realized we also needed to offer this in FDM. Why would you need this? Well, all plastics tend to shrink when they cool. They expand when they're hot and liquid. As they cool, they shrink. Some plastics shrink as much as 0.4 to 0.9%. That's almost 1%. So a large part printed edge to edge on a large build plate could shrink a few millimeters. That shrinking is either going to cause the print to lift up off the build plate and warp and produce all kinds of defects besides warping and other layer delamination print failures. Uh, or if it does stay down well enough to your build surface, it could peel the build plate up, the flexi plate right up off the magnet. This is further compounded by the fact if you're printing a very large, heavy part edge to edge, it's gonna have more shrinkage than thin walled parts. When you print edge to edge, there is another factor. Let's come over here to explain it. When you're printing something small, the magnet has a lot of resistance perpendicular to its own plane, which is great. But as soon as we start to print close to an edge, you are subjecting this magnet to peel. And the peel forces of the magnets are weak. That's why our lift tabs work. So this might be an opportune moment for you to start to use an XTR system. Let's talk about the composition of each system. Our flexible build system, or FBS, kits are comprised of a magnet and usually a flexi plate with a pre-installed PEX build surface. The magnets on FDM are one millimeter thick. They are our high-powered custom magnets created to resist heat. You can go up to 150 degrees, continual print bed temperatures. They have alternating polarity programmed into them for the strongest upward forces of magnetic hold. That combined with our flexi plate, which is a very high chromium, high quality spring steel that will never rust from the inside or out. This plate is 0.4 millimeters and it's perfect for flexing parts off your plate. It also conforms very well to your magnet in your bed, giving you high fidelity. And on top of that, we've mounted our PEX. For the flexible build system, we also have our powder painted Ultem PEI plates coated on both sides. These are using the same exact steel that we use on our PEX flexi plates. And the reason why is we don't want to have any rust or oxidation developing underneath and allowing the PEI to chip off. Our PEI, like I said, is actual Ultem from the Sabic group. Almost every other copy and knockoff that you see on the market, they're not even going to list that name Ultem, and it probably is, is not true. This is an expensive material made by the original uh, creators of the polymer, and this stuff is going to last you for years. Now, the difference between this and the XTR, the XTR magnet is our same high-powered magnet, but it's double the thickness. It's two millimeters thick, and we've programmed it with even more powerful alternating polarity. So we have a super strong magnet, the strongest on the market. Our flexi plates are the same high chromium, high grade spring steel that we had on the regular flexible build system. However, this is now a 0.6 rather than 0.4. It's a lot harder to bend, but that's also going to provide incredible resistance. When you couple these things together, you are going to have a hold up to the edges, which is phenomenal. Our powder painted PEI, same thing. We're using the 0.6 flexi plate that we were using on here. Same high grade, high chromium steel. Same Ultem PEI XTR version of the powder painted as well. Now you're going to notice that the Wham Bam product line will sometimes have both kits, sometimes only one. Sometimes we only offer the 
build surfaces and not the magnets or the magnets separately. Um, that depends on your size and your kit, especially on the XTR. We usually limit these to the larger machines, the prosumer and industrial grade machines where you need that added performance. If you do not see your size listed and you'd like to have a component for your machine, please do sign up for our request list on our website. So now the decision is yours. Which one would you like, the flexible build system or the XTR? It really depends on your typical print situation. So let me explain. If we're going with the flexible build system and we're printing small parts, this is going to be wonderful for popping them off, especially things like small articulated dragons and snakes and things like that. It's going to pop off everything once it's cooled. The XTR has a harder time of making that curvature. It is ideal to pop off a full build plate product that's going to come right off but it might be less than ideal for your very small objects. So it's up to the consumer to decide what he wants. Now you can mix and match, especially if your machine has an automatic bed level sensor. I could put an XTR magnet on my machine and I could switch back and forth between a normal flexi plate and an XTR flexi plate and let my machine adjust for the 0.2 millimeter difference in thicknesses. This way, when I'm printing large edge to edge, I'm using my XTR, even the XTR um, powder painted. You can really feel that grip. Or I switch back to the normal flexible build system, pre-installed PEX. And that really shows you the flex here. So depending on which one is right for you, you have the opportunity to choose them from our website. Please let us know in the comments if you'd like to see an XTR version for your printer, which printer it is, or any other upgrades and innovations from Wham Bam. We're always striving to be the ones to create the solutions for 3D printing to make it easier, more fun, and more productive. And we really do appreciate your assistance and patronage. Thank you.